What is going on, awesome people? I apologize it took so long to make this video. However, I still wanted to make it because I'm very excited to share the results of this guy. What do I got on my head? <laughs> this is a brain scanner. It actually scans the brain waves in your head. It's handheld. I'll drop the link to our first video in the description for those who didn't catch the video. And let's dive in, right? Share screen so you guys can see my screen. And I wanted to do this video. This is on the moose, right? It scans the brain oxygen in, in your in your brain, right? The blood that's flowing to your brain, your brain waves. It even has sleep, different sleep modes built in to help you sleep better. A digital sleeping pill. So many cool things, right? And I wanted to test this, though, because we've all seen these theta waves, right? For all of you guys that meditate, and this, this guy's, this guy right on our head, we don't have to spend thousands of dollars, hundreds of dollars, right? Going to the doctor or some laboratory and having them scan our brains, right? We have this guy now right here that you can get, right? Order ourselves as a consumer and we can test these. So I went ahead and tested these, and I have my first initial graph here, right? And this was really interesting, because I didn't want to close my eyes. I kept my eyes open and was just kind of staring at the wall. I went on my phone a little bit. And these are the different waves, right? And on their website, they go over these, right? You have gamma waves, beta waves. Alpha waves, theta, and delta. Now, delta is basically the brain wave that your brain has when you are asleep. Theta wave is connected to like dreams and very deep meditation and reduce consciousness. And then you have alpha, which is just like a neutral thing when you're awake and moving, walking, and then it keeps going up and up and up, right? Gamma is like you're in a super state almost, <laughs> right? So this though... Theta wave is the baby blue one here, and delta is the green one, right? So I had a lot of delta, a lot of theta. I was in a very relaxed state, very little alpha and whatnot. And then I went ahead and put on, right, I went ahead and put on the brain scanner. And this was the percentage, right, from the chart I just showed you. As you can see, it was 45% mind, 31% stillness. It was definitely more active, right? So then I went ahead and did a second one. And these are 20 minute scans, right? I literally sat there for you guys, 20 minutes. And by the way, I wanted to give some shout outs to Being Blessed, Alan, a lot of our community members who, I always read your comments and respond, but YouTube doesn't notify me when you guys respond back. So just some quick shout outs, Eduardo, who has been, dropping in and out for the last six years since we last started. There's so many different names, guys. And this was the second one I did while I had the Theta waves in my brain or in my ears playing the sounds to my brain, right? And this, as you can see, the Theta wave went up and the Delta waves also went up, which was really curious. There was definitely an increase, right? This was the first chart. And this was the other chart. So you can see the two charts here, right? Let me see if I can get this over for you guys. So this was this was the second one, and it's not really wanting to move. So I'll just go ahead and leave it here. But So this is the first one. And as you can see, these are much lower theta waves. And then as I played the actual sounds, I was very surprised. The theta waves actually did go up, right? You can see these are all below 10. A couple of times it went up a little bit. But after getting the meditation going, we're 13, 14. That delta waves even went up. So it was very interesting, though, because the other things went up. And I think this was because I was so relaxed. I was, you know, I was more in tune with my, uh, my thoughts. And I was, you know, brainstorming or thinking of different things like when you meditate. So even my other waves like alpha and um the the last one beta was was going up which is really interesting so there definitely was some truth behind these now i wanted to try it with another person so i asked my wife paola to try these and by the way this is the percentage 
of the second one I did. As you can see, the stillness went up about 15-20% almost. But like I said, my mind activity also went up as I was more relaxed and in tune. And I wanted to try this with my wife, Paula, and hers was really interesting, right? She was not playing Theta Waves. And just because when she had her eyes closed and she was relaxed, automatically all of the Delta and all of the Theta Waves <laughs> went way up to like even higher than mine when I was, you know, playing the, the, the Theta Waves. And when she opened her eyes, they were still pretty close, right? In between when I had no Theta Waves and me playing the Theta Waves. It was kind of in the middle of those two. So what was even more interesting, though, her percentages were at 70%. And once again, this was not playing any Theta Waves. She was not listening to these like I did in my second graph when everything had gone up for me myself so it's very interesting and this is why i always you know say along with a lot of other people to close your eyes when you meditate close your eyes when you listen to subliminals now you can still get results of course because you still you know your brain's still active but when you get into those deeper states right you close your eyes you can clearly see there's a huge difference right there's a huge difference. And this is this was mine, my second one I did. But going back, like I said, to Paolo, you can see that just having you know your eyes closed, how much of an impact that makes. And it really, really makes me wonder, you know, how much further you can test these and even have your eyes closed and playing the theta waves, how much higher you could go, you know. So yes, there definitely is some truth behind these. Now, a lot, I, like I said, these were 20-minute tests I did for each of mine. So I don't have time, obviously, to sit here and go through all of these. However, you know, it's really fun to see, you know, if you were to get something like this, the moose, how you could actually test your favorite, you know, your favorite meditation channels and just see the results that you get, if any. <laughs> right? And the app is really cool. Right. I'm not going to show it on my screen, but basically you have different uh, workouts that you can do for your brain while you wear this. They have different meditations you can do. I mean, a whole library of meditations that you can just do while you scan your brain, practice, you know, just building that brain strength, increasing the oxygen that or blood that flows to your brain. Like I said, you can wear it while you sleep, track your sleep. They even have a digital sleeping pill. Really, really cool. I always wanted to test something like this, but it was never possible, you know, as a consumer, you know, you needed a laboratory or something. I even played it while I listened to uh, subliminals and I even saw an increase in brain activity, which was really cool. Obviously, I was playing my own. I didn't have time, like I said, to test everybody's subliminals. So these are the results, guys. Yes, there definitely is some truth behind a lot of these. And like I said, unfortunately, since you need to do this for 20 minutes for each one, to have any kind of significant amount of data, you know, I unfortunately, you know, like everybody else don't have time, you know, to do every single one. But I did want to open this door to everybody and just make people aware to where we're at in the health and wellness industry, because it truly is amazing how far we've come and just to have things like this at our fingertips, guys. You all have a great day. This is my second video and as you guys probably know, my last one, I think we have enough information here for you guys to make your own decision. Have a great day, guys, and thank you for watching, like always.